Hello and pleasant evening to everybody. This is the fourth edition of The Real Thing. I am Grandpa James, a.k.a. the Soka Commissioner. And I'm Ian Russ. Tonight we're talking about the size matter and can you marry somebody of a big gender. We have a special guest tonight and we will have his input on the topic as well. But me personally, I don't think that size should matter. Once you love somebody, you know, and your heart is in it, you should just love that person for who they are, not what they have. Tonight's show is sponsored by Bobby Condors and Massive B from the blood clot thing change and a tropical reflection again. It they are sea pack, you understand? But may I tell you this in a fireball. Yo, me not married, no girl with no big pussy. Fire for that. Well, Rasta man, let me tell you something. Love is not something you can predict, you understand? You cannot, I don't even like that fucking word to tell you the truth, predict. Well, anyway, there's not something that, that you, you set out to happen. It happens because emotion. Sometimes you meet somebody and they make you feel good emotionally. You understand? They make you feel good, you know, morally. They make you feel good, you know, they build up your self-esteem and they support you and they appreciate you. Not because they fuck the shit out of you all the fucking time, you understand? All of that sounds good, but guess what? You have brethren and friends who can do that. Make you feel good and support you morally and appreciate you. You don't want a big pussy girl come lie down in your bed, you mad? Fire for that. So you will take a tight old woman who do support you and don't appreciate you. Me never said that, you know. But listen this. Me now nah look for no girl but have big pussy. You understand? And them done out. You understand what me are dealing? Guess what? Me have to find a woman who make me feel good and please me and appreciate me and make me feel good in my bedroom too. Let me tell you something. It's not every woman, you know, that fuck out and you know, have a big hole, you know. Some people genetically, they just have a big home. That's it. What I got to do with me? That's a fair pussy problem, Bertie. I think that is unfair. A woman with a big reproductive organ need love too. This is why God didn't make it this way, you know. God did not make it so that you could go and have sex and have two, three kids and then go get married, you know. You're supposed to be pure. You're supposed to be a virgin before and love the person and then you will get intercourse. If you was a virgin, you would never know what is a big old donkey prick and all kind of thing because because you would be you would be a virgin and the thing will be tight. You understand? So, if a man push a little small toti in there, it would still be pleasurable. Well, this is 2013, I'm going to 14. I did not stay so again. So, big pussy girl, go move up. Or you have to go learn from the kegels or something. I know we start the game. A woman start the game first, you know. What game are you talking about, man? Deceitful game. God make Adam and Eve, see? And him take out a rib out of Adam to make a companion for the man. With the blood clot, you tell the man both in the apple. I never take an apple. I take a pussy the man name and she fuck the snake. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, boy? Watch that. You could talk shit, boy. You love skin your bum buckle like teeth. But a real thing, I tell you. Fire for you. You see, that is the problem. Look for somebody who could belly up. Look for somebody who have goals. Who see themselves somewhere else in 10 years. Not a big prick. What? You can always know what prick problem, you know. I'm in a business, you know. Big old girl and small old man, you know, killing herself. You're right about fucking that. Because I never come across a big old woman yet. Because this here... One size fit all. Fire fear wood argument. Me in a business. Them have some girl you ask them if them post good. And them I tell you say, yeah, we never have no complaint yet. Yeah, you never have no complaint, but you're you're single. And they have some man when they stand up in a party, they grabbing the crutch, they grabbing crutches, boxers, balls and all and playing like a spray. Well there you have it. Thank you for tuning into the real thing. It's not all about size and it's not all about tightness. Watch a man. Now follow the fool yeah. Find a good man with a tight wall. And ladies, find a man, a good man with a long wood can deal with the thing proper. A donkey beat my mother in a pussy. 